I'm shuffling Hank Green's music on Spotify and um, this thing comes on and it's this lady talking in what I assume to be Russian and some sort something Slavic and she's just going off and I'm like maybe this is an intro like it says Hank Green I like glance over at my dashboard I'm like what is this it's an audiobook reading in Russian of one of his books I spent I spent I don't know three minutes listening to it before I looked and I was like what is this it's an audiobook reading <laughs> I was really waiting for a song to start I spent three minutes listening to that just waiting for a song to start I'm ridiculous if I die in a car crash, please do not make one of those memorials on the side of the road, especially because people are just going to leave fucking garbage there and it's just going to blow away and the memorial is probably going to be made out of garbage and it's just going to blow away. But guess what? When I'm dead, I don't want garbage, turns out. Turns out dead people don't want garbage. Um, at least not this one. Well, I'm not dead yet, but you know what I mean. And um, when I die, just, just throw me in the trash. <laughs> Frank Reynolds style. Roll me up and smoke me when I die. My favorite thing about living in Idaho, or at least one of them, is I have been driving for almost two hours now towards the capital, towards the biggest city in the state, and I have seen about two cars. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good to live small. We're only about an hour away from the capital of the state. Can't you tell? <laughs> It's so busy already. Wow, there's so much to see here in Idaho. See, Californians, stop moving here. Please, I'm begging. Everyone, stop. We call y'all Californians, but what we mean is, you outsiders, stop moving. 30 minutes from the big city, baby. We finally got two lanes. Finally. We also got amber fields of grain, you could say. Waves of brain, it's waves. I, I forgot. <laughs> we are officially in Ada County, baby. That is right. We are in the county of the capital, and there is nothing here. So don't move here. I'm not even lying. I'm in Ada County. I just fucking saw the sign. I'm dead fucking serious. Don't move here. Also, I forgot my freaking cleanser, but it's okay. No worries. <laughs> Give some pretty good color photos. Wow. This is amazing. Oh. <laughs> little sleepy Leo. They all You guys, the scream I just scrumped. You should have been scrumped. here. Scrumped? <laughs> Y'all don't know about my Pinterest. Hallelujah. Do you hear that in the background? That's how I feel right now. Because you know I love doorknobs and handles. Wow. This place is like my Pinterest board come to life. I'm so excited about my life. Doorknobs and books. Pinterest manifestation is so real. I was just talking with my friend about this. How real Pinterest manifestation is. Oh my god.
Hey, this one's a weird manifestation because I was reading a book the other day and this girl was wearing a fox around her neck and I was trying to picture it and I was like, oh, I wish I could picture it, but I want to Google it. And now I get to see it. <laughs> yeah. If he ain't this thick, I don't want it. My name's Lex and I'm from Mardi Gras. My name's Lex and I'm from Gone Fishing. This is a throwback to a thing. Challenging the third challenge. Oh, another yes. So would you say this visit has been a success so far? Dude, I'm, I think you're going to regret it because I don't know if you're going to, you're going to have to drag me out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm leaving on my own accord. <laughs> No, because these are on my Pinterest board. I'm telling you, Pinterest manifestation is scary accurate. Go make your Pinterest board right now. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. My dreams are coming true. Oh, Guys, someone comes up to me and they're like, oh, you're a collector. I'm like, yeah, I like books. And then she, someone else goes, oh, a different person, not in this conversation. 20 minutes later goes, they go, oh, are you decorating? Bitch, I read. I read. <laughs> okay, now I've entered the back rooms. I'm in a different dimension because there's books about old books and about antiquing. We're getting really meta and I keep getting lost in here. I saw Jaws with teeth and Judas Priest. I can lie. We're literally. I'm sure you are. Huh? I love him. Ooh, I always wanted a. but it was Christmas themed.
form. It's an honor. I think I might get this one for Rachel. I think you should have this one. There's 11,000, 12,000 people who are martyred um, underestimates the severity of uh, how dehumanizing these events have been. Tonight, we're here to tell some of the stories of those people who fell down martyrs in Gaza. I'm gonna start first with a couple of stories, then Nora will follow me, we'll tell a couple more stories. <laughs> Look at this fucking asshole! Fucking pigs trying to break up the fucking line. Fucking ridiculous. I did. I did. That was so full circle. I didn't even mean to do that. I haven't had too much trouble staying sober lately, but okay, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's here. I always get suckered into buying stuff when they have like a cop that goes with them. Every time I see something like that, I'm like, I gotta get it. That'll get you. Dwayne, you know, The Rock, you know, Johnson. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, guys, I may have bankrupted myself. This whole bag's full. And yes, I know we're all anti-Semitic, but just let me have my childhood, okay? I want my kids to read the same books as me. Call me crazy. Ah! <laughs> That's funny to me. <laughs>
twilight, so twilight, so twilight. Except for it's literally desert, so it's not twilight at all. But there's mist. Need to be careful with my manifestations. It's a little, oh, there's a car. It's getting to be a little too twilight for my tastes. Guys, I need to show you my haul. So everything on this table is used. Everything here is secondhand, and then this table are the ones I bought new. So I think I did a pretty good job being sustainable. I'd like to go through some of them with you. First, starting with the Roald Dahl box. Yes, I know he's anti-Semitic, but I've always wanted a full box because this is the box that I had when I was a kid. Or maybe it was different, but it has a lot of the ones that I had when I was a kid. I had a box set. They put them in upside down. I remember I had these left, so I'll have to fix that. Other than the witches. Odd. Anyways, $20. Love. And they're in good condition, too. Okay. <laughs> I, I just, I can't wait anymore. I have to get to one of the ones that I'm, like, the most excited about. Oh, I left one in my car. Shit. Shit. I'll show you tomorrow. I'll show you that one tomorrow. That's actually the one I'm the most excited about, maybe. Maybe it's these ones, though. These Vonnegut's, I showed you them when I found them in the store because I was so excited. These are from the 70s and hardback and they match. And I love all of these ones, especially Breakfast of Champions. That one's like the best, maybe. Actually, I don't know. Um, it's hard to pick. Then I got a, war a copy of War and Peace and I have no idea if this is going to be a good translation or not. I honestly was judging the book off of this cover. I thought it was very nice and this is the one i spent the most money on um in the second hand section this one was 18 dollars, but almost every single one of these was 10 dollars or under these bonnet ones were 10. this one was what and the white editions of these ones are going online for like 400. the red i think are only like 100 or so the ones i saw being sold but still triple digits and i got this for i can't find it but i remember on the receipt it was like 10 dollars now, Mark Twain is a racist bitch, but this is fucking gorgeous. And imagine this on the shelf close to this one. You're kidding me. And I like Princess and the Popper Barbie style, so maybe I'll like the story. And this is from the 1920s? Wait, no, no, no. This one was 1904 or something. Let me look. 1902, actually. Obviously, the actual book is older than that, but I just mean this edition. Yeah, copyright 18. 81 but still this has had like oh my god oh my god you're kidding me it's had a whole life it's lived over a century um if you can say it really lives these ones i just thought were cute i don't even know if i'll read it most of these i'll read but the egg and i and then i looked it up and they were selling also for a lot more than what i got them for and i got two of them so i'm like okay love that for me they can sit next together on the bookshelf I'm so excited about this because I haven't even read this one. Time Quake and <laughs> so exciting. Um, and then I haven't read God Bless You, Dr. Kevorkian either. I found that one used. And then there's more Vonnegut over there new, but we'll get to that when we get to the new stuff. And I think these like ones are ones that I won't, I don't really think I'll read or this one. I think these ones are more decor. I mean, I might read them, but I don't think they really knew anything about the care and feeding of children in 1920 when this edition was printed so 1921 so yeah and this one I don't really care about economics but it's just oh I love the rest of them though I do think I'll read maybe maybe not the complete works of O. Henry I might skip around in it but maybe I'll read it. it's just the papers are so thin so it reminds me of the bible and so I don't want to feel like I'm reading the bible but I don't know then we got Kafka. We got Kafka, Kafka, Kafka. Are you fucking me? I'm so excited. Um, then we got some Chuck Palahniuk. I never know how to say his name, but that's how I've chosen to say it. Um, I haven't read this one, and obviously I've read this one, but I keep losing my copies of Fight Club and Divorces. I keep letting my ex-boyfriends have it, because I'm like, you could learn something from this, but they, they don't read it the way it's intended. Anyway, Surprisingly, have not read this yet, so I was like, okay, got a cop. Um, 1984, no, commemorative 1984 edition? You're shitting me. I got it for a dollar. You're shitting me. Um, Frank and Zoo, you guys know I already have this one, but this one matches a different edition of Catcher in the Rye that I had, so had to cop. Lord of the Flies, I don't have this edition. I actually don't even know if I have a Lord of the Flies. I have no idea. So then we have 
Travels with Charlie in Search of America and Travels with Charlie in Search of America. So now I own three of these because I already have one. But they're so cute and I love this book. Um, the Red Pony, which I have in a collection, but I don't have it on its own. So it's good to have it on its own. Grapes of Wrath. Um, I don't know if this one is in storage or not, but if it is, it was a different edition. And this one matches some of my other Steinbeck. So had to cop. It's gonna be the catchphrase of this haul. Then we have some Dewey because, you know, I've been reading Richard Rorty and so that makes sense. So I get some Dewey. And then any book about the Tao that I see, I'm getting. Um, and I haven't really read a lot of like girl Taoist authors. So I'm like very interested. I think everyone should have to read narrative of the life of, a, uh, of an American slave, Frederick Douglass. Guys, I really think you should have to read it because I, I think it should be required reading, but I don't have a copy because when I read it, I found it on the beach and I left it on the beach where it was, but very good, um, but terrible, but everyone should have to read it. Gospel of Emerson. I don't even know if I'm that into Emerson anymore at this point in time, but this was just such a cool like texture and everything. And I'm like, okay, sure. I have no idea if this one's going to be like a drag. Like it seems like it might be a drag, but I don't know, everyone's always comparing the two, so I thought reading a random comparison from the two would be interesting to see how they really do compare. And last but certainly not least, Margaret Atwood, baby. This one, hard cover, and it looks fucking brand new. It looks like they didn't even read it. Like, it, literally, there's, like, no, like, even, like, creases on a page, no writing, no smell, no, no. It seems completely new, but it says used, and I got it for 10 dollars now for the new books got one on lilith love her we got uh welcome to the monkey house special edition i do have welcome to the monkey house but not special edition so had to get it um man without country haven't read it yet had to get it been looking for it slaughterhouse five graphic novel adaptation you're kidding me i don't even like war and i've never been so excited to look at pictures of war Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Then, you know, when I see a cool Dao Dei Ching, I have got a cop as the catchphrase. I never even say that in this video. I'm saying that. Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I have no idea if I'm even going to like the translation. I didn't even, like, open up to check any of the packages because I just wanted it to be a surprise. It was just so... Oh, oh my gosh, there's pictures, too. See, I'm telling you, I literally have not opened this one up yet. I was just like, need. Gorgeous. More Atwood. And you guys, I fucking finally found it. They didn't have it at Barnes the past three times I've been. They haven't had it at Powell's. But they had it in Boise fucking Idaho. Boise came through and I finally got it. And now, and now I can finally fucking read this trilogy right here. Oh, and this one. I got this one too used. Ah! Actually, no, I apparently got a new. $7.95 though, not bad for the big boy. Oh, I already showed you the one that I left in the car. I put it in the front seat because I wanted it to be safe on the way home. I wanted to be able to keep my eye on it. But um, it's the signed edition of her new book, the new Margaret Atwood book. <laughs> this could be the last book that she signs before she dies. She's getting old, guys. But yeah, I'm super stoked about this haul. Um, thank you, Patrick, for helping me pay for it. And um, thank you to all my OnlyFans subscribers for helping fuel my addiction. I'm going, everyone, every time I go and I buy books, they're like, yo, I, you better have some sturdy shelves. They're like, oh, do you have a lot of shelves? I'm like, these sit in boxes. I'm sorry, but one day I will build a house and it will be covered in them. But for now they must sit. Oh my god, I forgot to show you this Winnie the Pooh from 1956. Oh my gosh, so cute with the little illustrations. and So cute with the little illustrations and everything in it. And a little bath, just like it should be. I'm so excited. Okay, but can you imagine when I do have shelves and it's all lined up? Plus, imagine the signed first edition of Margaret Atwood's new book, Babes in the Woods, or whatever the fuck it's called. Imagine that. Imagine that. 
Me doesn't even know what it's called, but like cried about it yesterday. Okay, I'm a little book overwhelmed if you can't tell. <sighs> okay guys, I'm not allowed to go book shopping till June when I go to Powell's, okay? Can we all agree on that? I think we all can agree on that, but me. Look, these ones match, and it's gonna match my copy of uh, Thursday, Sweet Thursday. So, look, I can't even remember Steinbeck titles right now. And then this one's gonna match a couple of my other Steinbecks, like my Grapes of Wrath that I already have, if I do have it in storage, and if I didn't lose it, and um, other ones that I have, my East of Eden, and other ones like this. And then, what else do we have that's gonna be matchy matchy? I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> it's very excited. I just want shelves, I'm gonna learn how to build them. But there's no point in having shelves right now when there's no room to put the shelves. So I gotta build a house and then I gotta build shelves. 57 books for less than $500. Average less than $10 per book. It's allowed. <laughs> No one's allowed to be mad. This is, this is all I have in life. Okay, it is called Old Babes in the Woods. I was close. Okay, I brought her in so she could be with her friends and she's safe from the cold. It's very windy out there. Good night, my sweet babies. Okay. Good night, my sweet baby angels. No one go running off in the night. I would not survive a single lost sheep. So you are telling me that the hands that wrote The Handmaid's Tale wrote in my book? The writer who wrote The Handmaid's Tale wrote in my book. The hands that created The Handmaid's Tale touched my book. I'm going to have something. I own something. I have obtained something that has been in the hands of Margaret Atwood. She's literally... <laughs> And it's gonna go in my house one day. And right now it already is basically in my house in a way. It's mine to have and to hold. And I'll just be living around it. I'll just be existing next to something Margaret Atwood touched. And I, I already have one John Green touch too that he signed. But his sign signature is so, like it's kind of funny because he signed so many that it's like essentially worthless, but it still means something to me because he touched it. And that means something to me. I was just watching this video of the panda eat bamboo normal activities and I was watching it and it's like it's like it's eating a wood you know like it's like it's eating a tree like it's such a big plant and then I was thinking about how there could be a giant thing like a dinosaur but like you could and it could it would be scary if it was eating through all the trees like a path through the trees and you see all these eaten trees like broccoli and it's some large creature going through the trees that would be pretty scary <laughs> scaring myself on this windy night good morning my beautiful baby angel princesses from heaven did you sleep okay it's Ethan's own punishment that he doesn't get to be with me like just the fact that he's not with me is his own punishment like like, he, if he was with me, he would get to read this graphic novel adaptation of Slaughterhouse Five. If he stayed with me, he would have a shared bookshelf where he has his favorite book. He has an edition from the 70s of his favorite book and other old Vonnegut. He would be geeking right now, but he doesn't get to touch these. 